All three women were born in America from Nigerian parents. But for the team driver, her roots are as important as her place of birth. Although we're American, we're also Nigerian. We're actually Nigerian first, and that is the one culture that we know, the one culture that we were raised to respect and understand. So it's almost like second nature um, to be Nigerian and represent Nigeria um, and show our patriotism. She says it's time to give back. Because everything that we've, we've always done has always been for the positive impact and betterment of our American existence. But nothing has really been able to contribute to the progression of Nigeria, which we so equally claim. And so just being able to show people that it's okay to be both. While the Olympic athletes say they're ready for the challenge, the team's break woman jokes about the weather conditions that differ so much from her home state of Texas. <laughs> Honey, not my, <laughs> no, it's been super cold, but I think that we're here for the Winter Olympics, so for it to be anything other than cold, this is what we expected, and this mm -hmm. is like setting the tone for the Winter Olympics. And so we welcome it. We want it to get a little bit warmer, <laughs> but we're fine with how it is now. And at the end of the day, we cope with the same conditions that everyone else here is coping right. with, so mm -hmm. it's a mental thing, mind over matter. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is one of eight African nations competing in South Korea as part of the largest contingent of African athletes ever at the Winter Games. Mariama Diallo, VOA News.